Flags at Hamilton County buildings are flying at half staff today to honor a career of service. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Adam Clements and I'm Megan Mangello. An emptiness felt in the heart of a community and across the state as so many people mourn the loss of Bridget Kelly. The lifelong public servant passed away last night after living with Brett with cancer for two years. David Winter is here now to share the life of a woman cut far too short. David. Yeah, it sure was, Adam. Most of us remember Bridget Kelly as a Norwood City Council member or a state legislator or most recently as the Hamilton County Auditor. But Bridget Kelly's career really began as a student at St. Ursula Academy, class of 2001. Anything that Bridget put her mind to, she did incredibly well and with a lot of zest and empathy for others, which I think we ended up seeing her do throughout her whole life in public service. Lilia Keith Kramer had known Bridget from when she was a child, but deepened their relationship when she attended the St. Ursula Academy, becoming student council president, getting voted most outgoing, most spirited, and playing lacrosse. In 2016, she returned to lead a women's conference. She was a warrior, I think, you know, and what we've heard in the last couple weeks, her quiet battle with the cancer spoke to what a courageous young woman she was, and that at the till the very end. She started in Norwood City Council. Um, I think she was 18. <laughs> it's like what? Uh, imagine what you were doing at 18. I mean, who does that, right? She was actually 22, but County Commissioner Denise Driehaus was always in awe of Bridget's ability to reach across the aisle and accomplish things like reducing the cost of essentials for women. One of the things she did in the state house was pass the pink tax, uh, and so tampons and pads are not taxed in the state of Ohio. That's because of Bridget Kelly. She advocated for common sense gun laws, affordable health care, and workers' rights. But most who worked with Bridget remember her as a good friend, like Hamilton County Commission President Alicia Reese. She had her two beautiful little nieces, and she would have auntie weekends and creative things that she'll share with what she did. I would have my nieces, and I would share with her, and so. The code for us was uh, hashtag auntie's caucus. So I talked to Bridget quite a bit. Um, I used to call her on my morning walks. I'm going to miss, I talked to her today on my morning walk. Um, I'm going to just miss uh, bouncing things off of Bridget, talking to her about what's going on. Hamilton County Democratic Party Chair Gwen McFarlane was also a good friend. She closed her eyes yesterday evening and left this world. And she's opened her eyes in a new world and her, her spirit, her integrity, her values will continue to be around and move on. We have lost a really great person. And while I say that, I think a beacon of light from heaven will shine down on us and she will make sure that we are all taken care of. Bridget leaves behind her husband, her parents, beloved nieces, and a large extended family and a lot of friends. She was just 40 years old. Adam? David, thank you. Cincinnati City Council is also remembering Bridget Kelly today with a proclamation. The mayor and this council hereby recognize Hamilton County Auditor Bridget Kelly and express the appreciation of the mayor and council for her dedicated career in public service and community support in Cincinnati, Norwood, Hamilton County, and the state of Ohio. Now, along with county buildings flying their flags at half staff now, the county will light up the courthouse green this evening in honor of Kelly and her service to the community. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine ordered flags flown at half staff at the state house, among other locations around the Capitol, on the day of Kelly's funeral. 